Pasquilla of here. Today's face mask Friday is all about this wonderful pomegranate peel powder mask. For this mask, the first thing you're going to need is dried pomegranate peel. And later on in the video, I'm going to show you guys how to turn it into a powder. So go ahead and keep on watching. Our first ingredient, pomegranate peel powder, have a lot of healing properties. It can help fight acne and skin rashes. It is rich in antioxidants and can help keep bacteria and infections away. It also helps to prevent the breakdown of collagen, which helps to promote new cell growth. It helps to promote glowing skin, prevents wrinkles, and treats sun damage. Our next ingredient is honey. I get mine from Trader Joe's, but feel free to use any brand of your choice. The skin benefits of honey include antibacterial and antiseptic properties which helps in treating acne and getting rid of dirt in the pores. It's also rich in antioxidants, which helps to boost collagen production and gives the skin a natural glow. Honey also helps to fade acne marks, dark spots, and helps to prevent premature wrinkles, fine lines, and keeps the skin firm, plump, and supple. To prepare the powder, the first thing you want to do is wash your pomegranate and after removing the seeds and contents with a spoon, you're going to take the peel and allow it to dry naturally. To do this, simply place them on a plate and leave it open to air and in 4-7 to seven days it will dry up based on how hot it is. Placing it in direct sunlight will also help to speed up the process. Once dried, the pomegranate peel should be able to snap very easily. Next, place the dried pomegranate peels in a blender of your choice and one minute into blending it should turn into a powder. I accidentally deleted the clip of me blending it but this is what the powder looks like. To preserve the powder, simply place it in an airtight container, store it in a cool dry place and it can last up to 6 months. Now to prepare the mask, I started with 1 teaspoon of pomegranate peel powder. 1 teaspoon of water and 1 teaspoon of honey. While mixing, I realized that the mask was too runny, so I went back and added 1 more teaspoon of the powder for a perfect consistency. So instead of doing 1 teaspoon, do 2 teaspoons of the powder to get the paste-like consistency. This is the before of my skin. As you can see, I have some dark circles as well as stubborn dark spots from acne scarring. To apply this mask, I'm using a flat brush from e.l.f. First, I start by applying the mask in my most problematic area, which is my dark circles. Then, I'm evenly spreading the mask on my nose, cheeks, my chin, around my lips, my forehead. I add a thick layer to my dark spots and I make sure to cover my entire face with the mask. I also want to add that if you want to solely use this mask to help fade your dark spots, you're going to need a stronger mixer, so feel free to substitute the 1 teaspoon of water for 1 teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. Lemon juice contains citric acid and can further aid in reducing dark spots. So if you're using this mask for acne scars, dark spots, or hyperpigmentation, you will not see results right away, so remember to remain consistent. Maybe try doing the mask once a week. Also, it's safe to apply this mask to your neck and your décolletage area. It's such a wonderful mask, so be sure to spread the love. I also want to remind you that if you're allergic to pomegranates, you should not try this mask. Once the mask is evenly applied to your skin, allow it to sit for 15 to 30 minutes. While waiting, call a loved one on the phone, pick up where you left off from your favorite book, give yourself a manicure, Fold your clean laundry, check your emails, do a quick workout, catch up on a Netflix show, have a karaoke party, or pray and read your Bible. Once the waiting time is up, start rinsing your mask with some clean water. This is my skin after the mask. It felt really clean, so, so smooth and supple. And I noticed that my pores got so much smaller my skin felt tighter but still moisturized and I also had a really nice radiant glow. So the next time you're eating a pomegranate, think twice before throwing out the peel. Besides being used on the face for an awesome mask, it can also be used in foods and drinks due to its health benefits. Comment down below if you want to see a video on other ways to use pomegranate peel powder. My skin is looking super amazing so I really hope you guys give this mask a try. 
thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and before you leave please go ahead and watch this next video